so the key to these really, and I know some of you are going to like it, is going to be to draw a diagram. You really want to draw it out. Now, you don't have to get super creative and take 15 minutes on each picture because that's not the point, okay? But you do need to get an accurate idea of what's going on. So this first problem says a person is 200 yards from a river. Rather than walk directly to the river, the person walks 400 yards along the straight path to the river's edge. Find the angle beta to the nearest tenth of a degree between this path and the river's edge. So this is what this is describing. I'm going to say here's my river, and here's my person. Stick figures as good as we're going to get. Okay. It says it starts 200 feet from the river. Now, typically when they have measurements like that, excuse me, yards, not feet, um, they're talking about direct distance. So from the person to the river is 200 yards. That's going to be our right angle. So then it says rather than walk directly to the river along that 200 yards right there, they walk along a diagonal to get to the river's edge. And that takes them 400 yards. The question is, find the angle between the path and the river's edge. So it's the angle up there at the top if you drew your picture like me. You could have gone the person walking down, whatever. Um, but the way I have my picture set up, this is what we're looking at. Okay, so 200 yards is which side in our right triangle? Opposite adjacent or hypotenuse? Opposites. 400 yards is? The hypotenuse. So that means which trig ratio? Sine. Sine of the angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So we use the inverse sine to find the angle. Yes, you could reduce that to one half. So you don't have so much to type in. Sine inverse of 0.5. So theta is 30 degrees on the dot that you will need to round. Okay. So look at the next one. A surveyor is 100 meters from a building. He finds that the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 23 degrees. If the surveyor's eye level is 1.55 meters above ground, what is the height of the building to the nearest meter? So let's draw it out. We've got the ground. Whew, that's not a straight line. Pretend it is. We got a building right here. Very tall, slender, rectangular building. We have a surveyor standing over here. He is his eye level is 1.55 meters. Okay. So, let's sketch out what we're talking about. We've got eye level directly to the building, and we have eye level to the top of the building. He's standing 100 meters away. Ideally, this should be a right angle right there. If it's not, we got a leaning tower of Pisa going on. The angle of elevation. That's always formed with the horizontal. So that means 23 degrees is right here. So we're talking about the height of the building. So we need to find the opposite side. We have the adjacent side. So that means which trig ratio? Tangent. Tangent of 23 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which is 100. This is the easy one. All we have to do is multiply by 100. So we get that the opposite is 42.447 meters. Now, are we finished with the problem? No. We've got to factor in the man's height. Okay, so we actually have to add 1.55 meters to that to get the actual height of the building. And it says to the nearest meter. So this building is 44 meters tall. 
sometimes they do put in extra information to throw you off, but the majority of the time, if they give you a number, you're probably going to use it somewhere in the problem. If you don't use it, you need to look at it and make sure that you shouldn't have used it. Okay, similar scenario here with number three. A six foot tall man flies a kite 354 feet in the air when he runs out of strength. The angle of depression from the kite to the man is 34 degrees. How much string did he have? So, similar scenario. We've got the ground. We've got a six foot tall man. <clears throat> He's flying a kite. We're going to assume that he's holding it at the top of his head, just to simplify things. Okay. Uh, kite string. It's about as artistic as I'm going to get. The kite is flying. 354 feet in the air. That's referring to its vertical height. One other piece of information that we're given is that the angle of depression is 34 degrees. Well, the angle of depression turns out to be exactly the same as the angle of elevation, and it has to do with um, parallel lines <coughs> cut by a transversal. But just take my word for it. But the angle of depression is the exact same thing as the angle of elevation. So we'll put the 34 degrees down there. Um, now, is there something I need to do to my problem before I uh, set up my tree ratio? We need to take away that 6 feet. Okay, we need to take away the 6 feet uh, because we're talking about the length of the string. So the triangle is actually a little bit smaller. So 354 minus 6. Whoops minus 6, 348 is actually what we're going to use. Now, what part of the triangle are we trying to find? The hypotenuse, okay? The, the string is the hypotenuse. So which side do we have? The opposite. So we're going to use sine. We have the opposite, 348. We're looking for the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is equal to 348 divided by the sine of 34. Yeah, a lot of string. 622.3 feet of string. The kite 354 feet in the air, that's pretty up there. 